What's up, guys? This is Webby back again for some late breaking news for you involving the tag team division in the WWE. Now, before I get into this, I was not even going to do anything this weekend until Sunday. Sunday, you have an on the road coming. You have the review of Elimination Chamber coming to you right here on this channel. So look forward to all that. A lot of good content for you. But I was not looking forward to doing anything else. I was going to uh, uh, take some uh, time off uh, from YouTube and uh, uh, catch up on some Elimination Chamber uh, pay-per-views just to uh, uh, get myself ready for uh, what we are going to see this Sunday. And I get on the internet and I look at WWE rumors and what do I find? The WWE is revival and them photoshopping the original classic world tag team championships in the WWE the ones that had such prestige such glory such uh, honor that all the wrestling fans universally praised whether it was because of the tag teams the WWE had back in that era or the rivalries we saw back in that era or the fact that let's face it let's face it tag team wrestling flourished and just simply entertained us back in the World Tag Team Championship era. It did. And wrestling fans, according to sportskeeda.com, we could very well see that uh, be coming back to the WWE. We could see that emerging again you know this would not be the first time wwe brought a championship back to the wwe wwe took away the intercontinental championship they brought that back i remember Stone Cold Steve Austin and Eric Bischoff were co-general managers when they brought the Intercontinental Championship back. That was a good time. I really enjoyed it when they brought the IC strap back. And if they bring back the World Tag Team Championship and they emerge both divisions, what an awesome time that would be for tag team wrestling you would not see the same rivalries over and over and over and over and over again we would not see the revival versus the lucha house party every single week the revival versus the ascension every week if the ascension ever came back to uh tv not only that, this would make a very interesting uh, 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 dynamic for WrestleMania 35. What would they do? Would they build up a tournament leading to WrestleMania 35? That would be something else. With all the tag teams. Getting a little piece of the pie on television leading up to it. Now, that's not exactly the way I would go, okay? 
I wouldn't go with that direction. What do you have on your way to WrestleMania right now? The first major stop is Elimination Chamber tomorrow night. You have the best tag team in the world, Shane O'Mac and The Miz, defending the tag team championships on SmackDown versus versus the Usos. What should happen? Bam, the Usos becoming the new SmackDown tag team champions in the WWE. If the World Tag Team Championship is coming back to the WWE and you are emerging, and you are emerging the tag team divisions, because the women's tag team division is not being Raw and SmackDown. You're only having one division. So if that's the case, if that's the case, It's simple. You take the Revival, which they're not dropping those titles anytime soon. You take the Revival, and you take the Usos, and you take a long rivalry building to WrestleMania. At WrestleMania, the best tag teams you have in the WWE fighting for the World Tag Team Championships. Sounds like a pretty good contest if you ask me. Now, some of you might say, well, what about the other tag teams in the WWE? What about them? Why can't they get a little piece of the pie on their way to WrestleMania? Why don't you do why are you excluding them, Webby? Uh let me uh uh get this straight. Okay. I have all the tag teams in WWE right now. Which ones do you really care about? Just throwing that out there to you. Go ahead. I'm waiting. Let me know in the comments below. Outside of the Revival and the Usos, which ones do you really care about? The Bar? Sanity, maybe? Other than that, no one. Uh, New Day? That's it. That means nobody on Raw is really cared about. You cannot book a tournament. You, you just can't. You book these two tag teams in a long rivalry on the way to WrestleMania. The other tag teams, you start building up with tag team matches. That way, when the rivalry between the Usos and the Revival is over with, you have a tag team or multiple tag teams ready to be contenders for those World Tag Team Championships. Having a tournament for the World Tag Team Championship, whether it's a single or a double elimination, like the King of the Ring, really wouldn't do anything. It, it, it wouldn't do anything. Because, let's face it, okay, it's a single elimination tournament. So, once they're on TV for one, uh, a one time, they're gone. And in WWE world, WWE's world, they uh, probably wouldn't be back on TV. And it still would come down to Revival and the Usos. Let's be honest here. 
Now, some might say, well, let's put like four or five tag teams in that matchup. Then people would be griping because there's four or five tag teams in the match. You don't want to do that. Two tag teams. Two. Revival and Usos. You want to bring back the World Tag Team Championship? The best tag team championship that WWE has ever had. Then you put the best two tag teams they have right now in that contest. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know what you're thinking in comments below. Scroll down, hit that subscribe button, become a subscriber today. That would be much appreciated. Join me for tomorrow for those two things I have for you on the road and special review of Elimination Chamber. And until I see you again, this is Webby, and I'll catch you on the other side. Talk to you later.